Samsung Sir TV. Today I'm going to show you the basics of boxing. So Western style of boxing. First I start with basic footwork in boxing. So the basic, you know, you stand up, open your uh, feet, shoulder wide, and then you step a bit back. Again, like imagine shoulder wide and you take a short step back. So you have your left hand up, your right hand also up. You need to protect your chin and then when you and the elbows are close to the body. When you move forward, you go left and right. Remember, I do not raise my foot high, but kind of slide on the ground, you see. And when I go back, I take right and then left. Right, left. So forward, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then I want to go back, right, left, right, left right left you see how you slide look at the transfer of the body i don't hop up and down i slide so this is very important to take into consideration again i show it to you go back hands up make sure to put to the side to left side you go left right again you slide like an animal you see left right left right right left to the right side right left right left right left any crossing of the leg should be avoided in boxing most cases at least so now i'm going to change position and show it to you again left right right left left right left right forward left right right left back to the side right left left right to this left right left left right you need to do this so often that it becomes part of you footstep taking footstep as you see here and the sequence is the most important thing in boxing you see how i move and it allows you also to move my hand to stay stable but still it helps you to avoid the strikes of the opponent and to move correctly Side step. Side stepping is when an opponent attacks you and he just jumps on you and tries to attack you, put you under pressure, put you under ropes against uh, the ropes of the ring, um, a ring or also in a MMA against a cage. In MMA, you have more possibilities. You just, uh, but here let's stick to boxing. You just go to the side and let him just go past you, like a bullfighter fighting a bull, if you only have an expression. You see, so what I have here, left and right, go right, and then I turn. You know, I change my guard. No, the uh, other way around, you know, I go the other side. So I don't change the, uh, my guard. You see? So if I want to go, if I want to go to the, the uh, my left, I go left and then turn. So left and then turn to the side. You see this? And left and to the side. If I want to go to the right, you take a right and then you uh, turn around with the left so you face your opponent and then here we are going to have the combination of uh, steps combination of steps are like this you see i went to the side stepping then i go forward forward uh, to the right and side step you see so again you see here you can take a look at side forward backward 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 and side step. Let the, uh, your opponent go past you. Forward, forward, to the left, to the right, side step to the left. You see, you need to train these all the time so they become part of you, so you can do them subconsciously. It is extremely important for you to do these exercises. You see how it goes? So left, right, right, left. You see, and then you go to the side. another one and I change this and then you can see this when I go forward this is this cross stepping cross stepping is you take steps and change the guard you see how I change the guard I will show you because it's important for a combination I'm going to show you later so you just change the guard and step forward a bit you see you go once left foot forward once is right you slide on the ground 
The next technique is how to do the jabs. In order to do the jab, you can uh, see that the, you have the guard, right? And first we do it without any stab. You just stretch your hands and jab into the face of the opponent. You see that? First of all, you just transfer the body. You see how I transfer my body into my punch? Jab is normal. You cannot knock out um, people, your opponent but it's just to open up for a stronger hit. There are some stiff jabbers who can even knock out the person if he comes into your jab. Normal jabs are for distraction or for hitting the opponent on the nose or in the eye to distract him, hit him a bit and then go and op make an open up for a hook or for a cross. So you see that you open your hands and you jab. Now he's with the side with the step, remember? And go back. So you go step with the left and come back right you step and come back you step and come back this is the first thing you can do with the jab you can show it to you step and come back left step and come back look how i put my shoulder behind protect yourself at all time you go in and come back you see now i can show it to you from the other side you go in you come back you go in you come back you go in you come back you go in left at the same time with the left leg and right you jab with the left and then come back you see how it changes when you f move forward or you go backward so if you go to the side you see left right and look at the same time when you go to the left left leg and left jab are done at the same time and then the, the leg goes to the right is just the opposite as if you go back coordination right leg and then left uh, you see uh, you, you hit the jab it is important that you train this all the time you see now the coordination is extremely important for any boxing it should be one of the first lessons you learn in boxing coordination of your uh, feet and your uh, hands Remember, boxing comes from the legs and hips. Boxing doesn't come from the hands. It is very important to know that. And I cannot stress it enough. Now you see that? Here, I, we come back here. And then you so, do the jab. You see, I do the side snap. And as a finishing, you do the jab. Right? You do the side snap to the right. So you look right and left and then jab with the right hand. Right? So you go, so you see that, how it's done? Right, left and then right jab. Here you go, right? The last snap, arc is going to be the hand. Here you go, you see? Right and then uh, left leg. You see, this is the way you do it. Now, from the other side. So you go right and then you go here. Right, left leg and right hand, which jabs your opponents. Right here you go and turn. So to the other side is just the opposite. You go left and then you then you go right and then you jab. Right? So you 
left, right, and then jab in combination of right leg and left hand. That's what the way the way you do it. section and this means how to do uh, jab and cross so basically a cross is when you turn your hips first you turn your hips and then the hand and shoulder follows you see that it's extremely important this is the best way to transfer power into your right arm cross is a straight punch where all the body weight and hips and even legs transfer all power to your punch so you see important is again you turn first you know you you turn f uh, first the body and leg and then the hand and shoulder follow this way is the best way of transferring power to knock out your opponent otherwise you're going just to jab if you just scratch your arm it's going to be a jab and many people think it's a cross it is valid, you can also jab with your right hand from time to time when you do it very fast. But that's not the idea of a cross. A cross is, in this case, what you see to knock out your opponent. So you see, here you go. I do it faster, but you see, we jab and then with a cross. This is the combination I would like you to train. So you go one bump, right? This is, you need to do it thousands of times, ten thousands of times to become part of it. You see, you need to turn it. You know, again, right? We keep doing it until it really you can do it subconsciously. You see? You see how you I turn my body? So from the other side, left, right, left, right, left, right. Exactly, left, right, left, right. Yes, left, right. So here, left, right. This way you turn left, right. Just watch how I turn. Put my body weight behind the punch. And look at it from this side, left, right. See, how it's turned. Just watch the movement, how the body is transferred. Look, when I turn, I do jab, step, and then the next one, when I turn, I also take a small step with the right leg. So to transfer even more body, it's the move you go into the body into the chin of your opponent. Best thing is to get the chin. You know, and turn the head of your opponent when you punch this to reach a knockout in this case. jab cross jab I do the cross very uh, short range here normally you should sit more if you want to knock out your opponent but left right left you see left right and left look at the football you go left step forward right you sit on a turn and then you go back right left again you see how it works this I'm doing I'm doing it very fast but it follows the same principles which I mentioned to you at the beginning of this lesson. You see them? Now I do it from the other side, right, left, right, right, left, right. This is going to be in the same way I mentioned it in the beginning to you. Look how these things are done. So left, right, left, this is right, left, and right. You know, I do it from the other side, left, right, left, you see? Boxing normally you should do it from one side. They teach you to fight from normally from one side. I strongly advise you to fight from both sides, especially it is extremely important for MMA fights, where changing sides is extremely important because when you come to grappling range, 
because in grappling you can not only fight from one side, you need to be uh, ambidextrous and fight from both sides. And striking you need to learn also from both sides. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. See, that's the way you do it. This is the combination you should spend some time on it and learn it. So I just let you watch it for a while. combination three crosses and one jab remember in the beginning the way I stabbed and forward and ch you know this is for this go right left right three crosses you see the right left right and how I change it you can give three crosses this is the way with this foot stab where it allows you to give three crosses. normally if you punch your opponent extremely hard you can even hit the, his guard and put him back on the rope or against the cage this combination is used. It's a very effective combination. Some boxers can do it because they spend lots of time on it, right? So you go, you see that? It's done. So right, left, right. You see, in the beginning, I showed you how to do this uh, stab, and that's the reason. From the other side, you can also watch that. It's in the same uh, principle. channel and I would like to thank our members and please stay tuned more boxing and kicking will come soon.